Now, Miss Fine, you did understand this party was for cast and crew only, right? I mean, you weren't expected to be invited, were you? No. <laughs> Margaret? It's a little late for you, isn't it? I'm home, okay, so lay off me. You're like the last person I have to answer to. Where did that come from? You get back down here, young lady! No! Well, she's not gonna get away with speaking to me like that. Oh, now, wait, wait. Let her just calm down a little bit. What, what, what do you mean, her calm down? What about me? Well, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, when I hit puberty, my mother was a size six. When I hit 18, so did she. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever could make her leave the house and then come back home with a completely different personality. Hey, I don't even want to think about it. Do you read those pamphlets they send home from school? What do you think? Alcohol? Sex? Not tonight. I'm too distracted. <laughs> So you see, it's really a typical adolescent reaction. Someone else is in the limelight, and they lash out to get attention. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. I see, I see. So, so, so what would you suggest? Have you tried one of those trophies that says, Butler of the Year? <laughs> OK, I'm here. Oh, I'm Dr. Miller. Uh, please, have a seat. Oh, this is a total waste of time. So, Margaret, your family feels that something's bothering you. Well, honey, just feel free to vent your feelings. I mean, uh, nobody's gonna hold it against you. Just tell us what's on your mind. Okay, I hate him. <laughs> well, that's okay, that's okay. Don't take it personal, just let her express. I hate you, too. Open a window! <laughs> Margaret, if I've hurt you, I can't do anything about it until I know what it is I'm supposed to have done. Well, fine. Here. <gasps> the nanny and the hunk producer? <laughs> Broadway's leading widower keeps broad on the side for years. You and Fran had an affair while Mom was still alive. You even cheated on your honeymoon. Look, the pictures prove it. Margaret, you can't believe this. Sweetie, for this to be true, do you know how old I would have to be? Yeah, 40. <gasps> <laughs> oh, my God. She's doing drugs, too. <laughs> Sweetie, I gotta get you to understand. I do understand. I finally understand why Dad would hire a woman off a resume written in lipstick. <laughs> and she's still our nanny, even though, like, two of us can drive. Sweetie, these pictures of your father and I on the beach are completely fake. Prove it. Look at this. I'm wearing Clinique Ivory Bisque Base. Not patented until 1987. Ha! There's your smoking gun, sister. <laughs> oh, Fran, you're wasting your breath. Oh, Maggie, I, I can't believe you would actually think I, I'm capable of something like this. I, I'll tell you, I'm, I, I'm so hurt. I, I I don't think I could ever forgive you. Well, Fran, what do you expect me to think? It's so obvious Dad is in love with you. I forgive. <laughs> I'm sorry. I believe you now. Fran explained everything about how you told her you loved her and then took it back. <laughs> After, of course, saying that she's the most beautiful woman in the world and that you can't live another day without her. <laughs> well, did you want your daughter back or not? 